If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be my September wrap up. September was a, an interesting month, let's just say that. Uh, things didn't necessarily go as planned, reading wise or life wise, but I still managed to finish some books that I wanted to talk about, so let's do this. The first couple of books were technically part of my last reading vlog, which I hesitated about posting because. Things were kind of hectic in my life and I struggled to manage to go through books. However, I still did manage to finish some, so I'm gonna talk about them briefly. And if you want to get more details, obviously watch the vlog. But the first book that I finished was Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. And this I picked up during a run at Value Village and it was there and I realized, huh, that movie was actually a book. So I decided to actually read the book. I was in a big, witchy mood and this definitely scratched that hitch but uh, I do feel like the movie took all the good things from the book and used that and I felt like I kind of struggled to go through it a little bit just because the chapters are so long and I mean like so long like a hundred pages so I realized that usually whenever chapters are shorter I tend to go through books faster because it's way more motivating but yeah it does feel quite age in terms of some of the descriptions that are mentioned, but at the same time, it did still give me the witchy vibes that I wanted. And uh, I realized that there was actually a prequel about the aunts, so I will be hopefully picking that up during the fall and reading it. The title is The Rules of Magic, I believe. So I will be hopefully reading that, but yes, it was good, nothing crazy. So I'm giving it like a three something stars. If you like the movie, for example, I would read it, but Keep in mind that the movie kept just the good stuff and there's definitely longer, not necessarily useful description through the whole thing, but you know, still not bad. The next book is something that I finally, and I mean finally completed because that pile of shame reading vlog was basically books that I hadn't finished. And this one, it wasn't that long. It had been like a month since I started it, but this one probably two years. <laughs> since I read the first half. I did technically read the whole thing through the reading blog because I started beforehand uh, listening to the audiobook till the chapter, was it nine or 19 that I was at last time, but I wanted for the reading blog just to read a part that I hadn't finished yet. So The Song of Achilles by uh, Madeline Miller. I have read Cersei, highly recommend it, especially as an audiobook because of the voice of the narrator. It was the only thing that reading this one as the second one, made me realize I really enjoyed the voice of the other one. It was perfectly fine, but it's just that, you know, the other woman, her voice was just amazing. Anyway, I uh, finally read this. This is a fantasy, I always want to say historical fiction, even though mythology is not really history. Kind of is in my heart, so. <laughs> but this is basically the romance between uh, Achilles and Patroclus. And I had been warned that there would be tears. I might have not actually cried, but uh, I definitely felt all the feels and it was beautifully written once again. I cannot wait for Madeline Miller to bring more books because I believe she has one coming out. Is it next year or the year after? I need to actually like check because I am reading that as soon as it's out because she is amazing at kind of recreating stories uh, through mythology. You know, Achilles, Circe, I can't wait to see what the next one is going to be. I feel like I knew that and now I forgot. I kind of wish it would be like Medusa or something. <laughs> that would be amazing. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you were thinking about it, absolutely pick it up, totally worth the read, loved it. Would give this uh, four, 4.5 stars. The next book that I finished also is an audiobook, clearly. Audiobooks have been like the thing that salvaged reading for me lately. If you are in a slump, definitely recommend uh, picking up audiobooks. Even though I'm technically not in a slump, we're still gonna call it a slump. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. This is a nonfiction about and Rihanna Lacks, basically her cells were stolen uh, by a doctor or cancer cells. And uh, from then they've been used everywhere uh, for testing in labs. And they've been used to discover a bunch of things like the polio vaccine, for example. And she never gave her consent. She didn't even know about it. Her family didn't even know about it until recently. And obviously they made zero money out of this. So there's like a lot of it about her life and then her family life, the things that uh, her cells were used for. Super interesting, definitely touching. The physical copy, you also get to see pictures of her and her family, which I thought was really, really great. 
So basically, uh, if you were thinking about reading a pretty easy uh, nonfiction, I would definitely recommend this one because it is super interesting and I really, really enjoyed it. I don't know what to give it as a rating. I hate giving these type of nonfiction about someone's life a rating, but I'm gonna give it like a four star. Definitely recommend it, it was great. Next book that I finished, also an audiobook, <laughs> obviously. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. This is book two after The Handmaid's Tale. And I had read that one and I had, I believe gave it like three stars, which I felt like was kind of an unpopular opinion. And I'm kind of giving this one possibly three stars, like generous three stars. Hear me out. I think Margaret Atwood is amazing at creating dystopian worlds that are a little too close to reality, possibly future, you know. I mean, if you've read the first one, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the TV show, which I still need to catch up, I think I'm towards the end of the second season and like, I can't binge watch this thing. Like I need to like watch one episode once in a while. Otherwise it just gets to me too much. I get way too mad. The second book is basically about uh, later on you're following um, Aunt Lydia and uh, a few other people. You kind of get to learn a little bit more about the aunts and uh, to see if possibly Gilead will fall or not. And I really enjoyed some of the information, but I can't say I enjoyed the reading experience, you know what I mean? Like, I tend to give rating based on just my enjoyment, hence the three stars. I don't think this is gonna be like something a lot of people, you know, absolutely adore and they want to reread and recommend to everyone. But if you enjoyed the world and kind of want to know more about it, I would recommend it because it wasn't bad. It's just that I can't say I enjoyed myself. So that's kind of why I'm torn with this reading, but I still wanted to mention it since it is a new book and I have read it. I would be very curious to hear uh, anyone else's thoughts on this book because again, I just finished it. So I'm kind of just in that phase where I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm thinking about it. But yeah, interesting concept, definitely terrifying, definitely more information given in this second book, but uh, I can't say I enjoyed myself. It sounds harsh. Uh, I still wanted to mention quickly a book that I'm currently in the middle of just because, I mean, at this point, I've only finished four books in September, so we might as well talk about it. Uh, Nesperitu by Joe Hill. I am currently about 40% into this book. Uh, I did listen to it as an audiobook for that first part. That book got returned to the library, so I will have to finish Like a Peasant, the physical copy. Do you hear that, Em? <laughs> I'm obviously kidding. Um, but yes, I have to say the audiobook freaked me out because I hate the voice the narrator is creating for that character, that creepy character in it. But I mean, it's working because the character is supposed to be creepy. So just wanted to throw it out there. If you get creeped out very easily by voices, just be aware. Uh, with that said, this is a horror book about Christmas land. And so far I am incredibly confused. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth between multiple characters and there's just a lot of information thrown at you and I have no freaking idea how, like what direction this is even going. So I just wanted to mention it because technically I was supposed to read this close to Christmas, but you know how it is. I just felt like picking it up. So I did that. Um, it is creepy, but at the same time, I'm not sure I'm enjoying myself, which is kind of weird because I'm usually really strongly in a like mystery horror thriller uh, mood during this time of the year, but I'm kind of not really feeling it. I do think uh, his writing is close to his dad, Stephen King, but I'm kind of just feeling a bit meh about the whole thing. So I would be curious once again to hear anyone's thoughts on this book. Is it something you just absolutely adore or you just didn't really care for because I need to finish it, obviously. Especially since the audiobook got returned. So obviously now I have to like switch from, you know, audiobook to physical copy and I'm feeling the need to not do that, which is, probably why I put right away my name on the waiting list because I want to avoid a new book going on my pile of shame because I did not reduce it by much, only three books last time and there are still more than that on it. So we don't need more books on it. So those are the only books that I finish slash I'm in the middle of right now. Ugh, September was not very successful. I mean, I still did better than her, just saying. The bar isn't too high though. Let me know in the comment section what books you have read during September because I want to know. I feel like I'm wanting to find some recommendations because even though I have like a million books that I still want to read, 
I don't know what to pick up right now. I guess I am maybe in a little bit of a slump. Let me know also if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in today's video because I would love to talk about them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss any future videos. And I'm gonna actually put some on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Wanna say bye, Em?